how's it going out there in the wastes? The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, learning about mirelurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on 10 or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Remember, I'll buy whatever you...
Hey! Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working! Just a few? Well, I'm sure it'll be good enough. So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I bet. Explosive, you say? That's kind of impressive, actually. In a horrible sort of way, at least. I guess it's back to the drawing board for that repellent. I wonder if I can make it into some sort of fuel. Anyway, I'll just take that. Oh, but for your trouble, um, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask if I couldn't fix you up afterwards, of course. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow! When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. 
I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Have fun out there, okay? Well, how do you feel? Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. You? At a loss for words? <laughs> Oh, it's worse than I thought. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and, and, and quit fidgeting. Ugh, how can you be walking around like this? Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks. And it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Well, I can't force you to work, I... Absolutely! I'll bet you haven't been thinking about the guide as much as I have. Well, it'll help humanity rebuild, right? I mean, who doesn't want to help humanity? Besides, it's bound to work out better than some of my other projects. I mean, with you helping and all, how could it go wrong? Oh, believe me, I know. I've been a bit careless with other projects, but this, this is important. This means something. You got it, super research assistant. Hey, I should get you a costume or something. Try not to die. You should probably leave, you know. <laughs> 